today let's solve orderly cube. Mm, we are given string s and uh, integer k. We can choose one of the fa uh, first k letters of s and append it at the end of the string. We need to return the lexicographically smallest string we can get. So no matter how many number of moves we can uh, uh, act. So in this case, let's see these two examples. In the first example, we can only uh, append the first character to the string. So firstly, we move the first character C to the end, then we get B A C. After that, we move the first character B to the end of the string. Uh, note, we should uh, change this string, so we get uh, A C B. Uh, we can keep doing these uh, steps, but uh, we will know ACB is the lexicographically smallest one, so we just uh, return that one. Mm, th in this example, k equal to 3, so it means at the beginning we have this string, and uh, in the first three characters we can choose one character and append it to the end. Then we choose B, because B is the largest among these three characters. And then we get AACAB. Afterwards, we can do the same thing. Um, now, in the first three characters, we choose C, and then we append it to the end. Then we get AAABC. So, how to solve this uh, question? Well, this is a trick question. Um, why? Because uh, there is no much algorithm you can think of, but you can observe the there is some pattern. For example, when you look at this example, you will think like if k great or equal than 2, we can always choose a larger, larger character and append it to the string. So in that case, the final result would be the overall smallest lexicographically, uh, I mean lexicographically smallest string. So um, give any string, we just return uh, all the characters sorted uh, the smallest one. So that's when k greater or equal than 2 because we can always choose the larger one. So when k equal to 1, what can we do? We need to uh, like append the first character to the end for every, um, uh, for every possibility. Because for example, if we have some string, then uh, it would uh, like look like this. Um, so what's the smallest one? Would it be a a? Uh, I mean, you need to append all of these things to the end, right? So only if we try every possibility, so we will know what is the smallest string. So when k equal to one, we just uh, try to append the first uh, character to the end. So that's the two cases. So now we know how to uh, solve this question. So we get the length, and then we have two cases, two scenarios. When k equal to 1, we should do something. And when k greater or equal than 2, we can just return the overall lexicographically smallest one. So we can just get the chart, which is s2 char array. And then we just sort it, sort charts, and then we return um, now we should uh, convert it to a string, so it is uh, charts. But when k equal to 1, as I mentioned, we need to try to uh, simulate this uh, whole process. So we, since we need to delete the char and also append the char, so we need the string builder. Ay, ay, ay. So it would be new string builder. That would be um, s. And also, um, we need the overall smallest result at uh, the beginning to should, uh, equal to s as well. And then at most, we need to conduct uh, the delete and append uh, n times, right? So n i equal to n, oh, sorry, 0. At least n i uh, increment by 1. Uh, the char we want to delete is the first char equal to s char. Uh, well, it should be curved char at. Uh, zero and then we delete it so curve delete char at zero 
and then curve append this chart right so append the first chart um, and then we just compare if curve to string compare to if it's uh, it uh, is lexicographically smaller than result then we should uh, update result to curve to string in the end just a return result okay I think that will be all the code uh, oh sorry compared to less than zero because you need to compare with zero if less than then curve two strings less than result if it's equal to zero which means these two strings are the same and then if it's greater than zero which means this curve two string is larger than result Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time. Mm, happy New Year!